All right, let's go from thick and small to a beautiful trip to Rome. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I just wanted to update everyone uh, because it's been quite a journey. This trip was seven months in the making. And you guys know it started with a really, I mean, in Texas, millions of people were affected by the freeze that happened. A lot of people for weeks didn't have heat, um, electricity. It was just, it was a mess. Water. Water, yeah. yep. It, it got really bad. And it was a story that uh, affected my family as well. And it's interesting how things can change. You can have something so horrible happen to you and you can be really stressed. Mike, you know how stressed I was trying oh to do the God. show. Because they had to move out of their homes mm -hmm. and move mm -hmm. into hotels. Mm -hmm. or if you could get one, if you yeah. could get one. Um, but it turned into a beautiful moment and it led us to Italy, to the steps of Rome. And so I wanted to share that with you guys and give you this update on Grandpa because we finally made it there. The Texas freeze was a national news story that hit close to home. Oh, my goodness. Like millions of people across the state. What a mess. My family lost their power and heat for hours, and they were lucky enough to find a room at a local hotel that we jokingly called the Waldorf. My granddaughter got me a room at the Waldorf Astoria. At the time, we didn't realize that this little sign at least it's warm. would lead us to an invite to an actual Waldorf Astoria in Rome. This is the real uh, world of the story. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is, it's addressed to you. Dear Mr. Holly, we would be honored to host you and a guest. I guess that would be me, right? <laughs> <laughs> At the Rome Cavallari, a Waldorf Astoria. And seven months later, Grandpa finally got his chance to make the trip. You're going to Italy. <laughs> Once he arrived, the Rome Cavalieri staff gave us quite the welcome surprise. Well, welcome. It's a pleasure, really. It's magic. It's magic moment. Welcome to Rome Cavalieri. Thank you. They put him in the penthouse. Oh, Roma. <laughs> oh, that's great, great. Rome, thank you. I've returned. <laughs> Oh, man. This is your bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Lord, this is luxury. <laughs> we will have your private star tonight. Oh, <laughs> oh. How nice. Have you, have you ever stayed in something this nice? No, I've never, uh, never. In, in all your 91 years? In all my 91 years, I've never stayed in anything this lively. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe will take a bath oh. with you tonight. Yeah. Oh, the tub. <laughs> he loves the tub. He loves the tub. This is really living. <laughs> yes. There's more. <laughs> There's more. You take me out. Take, take, take me three days of getting find all this. <laughs> Oh, there were lots of surprise oohs and ahs, right. which is not easy to get from a man who's lived 91 years. I never lived like this. You're living <laughs> like it now. That I could have an enjoyable vacation just in the hotel. This is the vacation. <laughs> 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 we're never going to leave, OK? We'll just stay here the whole time. How does that sound? Yeah, I mean, we just stay here. We wouldn't have to go any place. I can <laughs> see all the city. <laughs> But we eventually did venture out, first to Grandpa's beloved Trevi Fountain, so he could return after more than 50 years. It's good to see it, see it again, and return and give it one more corn. <laughs> and of course, to see and do all the famous things when in Rome. Roma. <laughs> Roma. <laughs> And it wasn't long before Grandpa started working on his Italian. Conte Agura, la dolce vita. And then when it was finally time to say goodbye. We're leaving. So sad to see you go. It was hard to do, but Rome now feels like home to so many special Italian memories with Grandpa.
you drove all the way back to Dallas. <laughs> yes, that's right. It took me so long to get back. As you can see, it was an amazing, wow. amazing trip. We had no idea that they were going to do all that and have, I mean, we barely left the room. I mean, it was so cool just to be there. And the paintings were all originals. They had two Andy Warhol paintings. Originals. That you saw. Yeah. And that view from that deck, like, that's you can't just sit up there. <laughs> you could see the Vatican. You could see the Vatican. Oh it was God. it was special, and we're just so honored because it, you know Grandpa at one point said we were desperate. It, it was really a scary situation, mm -hmm. so we're just so glad that now we can replace it with this memory, and we're grateful for the Rome Cavalletti because they went all out. Let me tell you, the service was so good there. We had fresh fruit that they would put in our rooms every day, and they didn't want Grandpa to lift a finger. I mean, not even when it comes to watermelon, mm -hmm. they didn't want him to. Have to handle the own seeds in the water. Look at this. Please, sir. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, sir, we'll take care of the seeds. Don't Please worry sir. about it. Oh, <laughs> oh. what? <laughs> Oh, so that was Mateo with, with the concierge. That is service. We, 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 we were playing around with that one. But I want to thank Marcus, Umberto, Loredana, Maria Laura, Frederick Hawkins, Mateo. They, you could tell they made my grandpa feel really special. And they went above and beyond. And they were really touched by his story. So it's, it's just been amazing. Uh, I don't, we're going to sit on this one for a while. That's for, <laughs> Who knows if we'll live like that again? What was that couch in that room? It was a Karl Lagerfeld couch. Oh. Yes, and it was huge. From like Chanel, the designer from yes. Chanel with the black and yes. the big thing oh and the scarf. God. It was amazing. Rome, they know how to do it. They certainly do. So, I mean, that was a, what, a four-minute story? There's so many moments that I wasn't able to put in there. So I'm going to share over the next couple of days on my Instagram, Alex Holly TV, some more great moments with Grandpa and the times that we had because there's just too much to put in. And so my parents were also there, as you saw in the video. Um, so it was a great family trip and a great memory. Uh, for 91 years of grandpa. And that's what it's about. It's just mm -hmm. keeping, making all those memories and just celebrating everything 50 you can. Years later. Yep. Yeah. Right back at the fountain.